Hi friends, good evening. Once again, welcome back to my channel Mogambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC RRB exam preparation. In the previous video, we discussed questions from gastrointestinal system, and today we can see questions from microbiology. Here we are discussing subject wise important and previous year questions. The first question which among the following is a contribution by Louis Pasteur in the field of microbiology? Options Option A techniques of pasteurization, Option B process of fermentation, Option C rabies, cholera, and anthrax vaccine, Option D all of this. Question Contributions by Louis Pasteur in the field of microbiology include all these. Techniques of pasteurization, process of fermentation, rabies vaccine, cholera vaccine, anthrax vaccine all developed by Louis Pasteur. Option D is the correct answer. Other some contributions by Louis Pasteur we can see. Louis Pasteur is considered as the father of microbiology. And sterilization techniques was developed by Louis Pasteur. And the development of steam sterilizer hot air oven autoclave was developed by Louis Pasteur and the term vaccine was given by Louis Pasteur and the vaccines rabies vaccine anthrax vaccine cholera vaccine all developed by Louis Pasteur and the development of live attenuated vaccine by Louis Pasteur the first live vaccine is anthrax vaccine on to the next question father of antiseptic surgery is options option a louis pasteur option b robert Koch. option c Anthony van leeuwenhoek option d lister father of antiseptic surgery is sir joseph lister option d is the correct answer and the next question coma shaped bacteria is options option a staphylococcus option b streptococci option c vibrio cholerae option d bacillus yes. here the question which organism is seen in which bacteria is seen in coma shaped coma shaped bacteria is vibrio cholerae option c is the correct answer first option staphylococcus the staphylococcus they are arranged in clusters okay or grape like cluster Okay, and streptococci, they are arranged in chain, chain-like organism. Okay, they are streptococci and bacillus, bacillus are rod-shaped bacteria. Here, Vibrio cholera is coma-shaped bacteria. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question, electron microscope use electron for their which property? Options Option A wave nature, Option B negative charge of electron, Option C positive charge of electron, and Option D all of this. Question In electron microscope, use electron. They are using electron for their which property? That is the question. So, correct answer is for its wave nature. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question Tissue fixation for electron microscopy is done with. Options Option A formaldehyde, Option B glutaraldehyde, Option C magnesium sulfate, Option D shield Nelson staining. Tissue fixation for electron microscopy is done with the help of glutaraldehyde. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question Diagnostic test used for typhoid fever is options option A blood test, option B chic test, option C dick test, option D vital test. Typhoid fever or endric fever is vital test. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question diagnostic test used for typhus fever is options option A Mandos test, option B Schick test, option C Bales Felis test, option D Vidal test. Diagnostic test for typhus fever is Bales Felix test. And the next question diagnostic test used for scarlet fever is Options Mandos test, option B Schick test, option D C Dick test, option D Voidal test. Diagnostic test for scarlet fever is Dick test. Option C is the correct answer. 
move on to the next question e coli was first isolated by options option a louis pasteur option b s rich option c robert koch option d lister e coli esterichia coli was first isolated by theodor escheris here escherich is there so that is the correct answer is a german physician who isolated e coli e coli or escherichia coli the next question coagulase test is used to identify which organism options option a salmonella option b staphylococcus option c pneumococcus option d e coli coagulase test is used to identify staphylococcus aureus okay option b is the correct answer move on to the next question which of the following is an example of gram negative organism options option a staphylococcus aureus option b streptococcus pneumoniae option c e coli option d all of this question which is gram negative bacteria and the correct answer is it is e coli escherichia coli is gram negative remaining all gram positive so gram positive bacteria we can see first gram positive bacteria includes staphylococcus streptococcus pneumococcus mycobacterium clostridium tetani bacillus anthracis and lactobacillus these all gram positive bacteria see mycobacteria mycobacterium leprae and mycobacterium tuberculae all are gram positive okay and gram negative bacteria include neisseria gonorrhea neisseria meningitis pseudomonas vibrio cholerae salmonella e coli shigella and brucellosis this all are gram negative bacteria our question is gram negative organism is e coli option c and the next question common source of infection for botulism is options option a infected egg option b contact with infectious animals option c contaminated water option d bottle packed vegetables botulism food poisoning is commonly occurs through clostridium botulism the causative organism and it is mainly occurs through improper canned food okay so canned food items among this option is bottle packed vegetables so improperly packed food or improperly packed vegetables from there there is an infections will come so that will cause botulism move on to the next question bacillus serious food poisoning is commonly associated with consumption of options option a green beans option b bottled honey option c fried rice option d bagged potatoes bacillus serious food poisoning is commonly occurs through fried rice option c is the correct answer and the next question greenish color of pus from the ulcer is due to infections by options option a proteus option b staphylococcus option c pseudomonas option d clostridium greenish color of pus that is infected pus from the ulcer is due to pseudomonas infections option c is the correct answer Move on to the next question. Which among the following bacteria have the capability to produce spores? Options: Option A, Diplococcus; Option B, Neisseria; Option C, Vibrio cholerae; Option D, Clostridium. Which bacteria have the ability to produce spores? Spore-forming bacteria are known as Clostridium. Option D is the correct answer. Clostridium is an anaerobic spore-forming bacteria. Clostridium species include Clostridium tetani, Clostridium perfringens or Clostridium wilchi and Clostridium botulism. Among this Clostridium perfringens or Clostridium wilchi which may cause gas gangrene. That is also important point. Gas gangrene is due to the infection with Clostridium perfringens or Clostridium wilchi. Move on to the next question. common cold is caused by options option a rhinovirus option b e coli option c streptococcus option d all of this 
common cold it is also known as rhinitis it is caused by rhino virus option a is the correct answer move to the next question mycobacterium leprae is also known as options option a coach bacille option b magical bacille option c hansen's bacille option d none of this mycobacterium leprae which cause leprosy this is also known as hansen's disease so it is known as hansen's bacille option c is the correct answer and the next question mycobacterium tuberculosis is also known as options option a coach bacille option b magical bacille option c hansen's bacille option d none of this mycobacterium tuberculae which cause tuberculosis and this is known as coach postulate so it is known as coach bacille option a is the correct answer and move on to the next question diagnostic test used for tuberculosis is options option a mandos test option b schick test option d dick test option d voidal test diagnostic test for tuberculosis it is mandos test option a is the correct answer move on to the next question the optimum temperature for the growth of most pathogenic bacteria is options option a 25 degrees celsius option b 30 degrees celsius option c 37 degrees celsius and option d 42 degrees celsius question the optimum temperature for the growth of most of the pathogenic bacteria is about 37 degrees celsius option c is the correct answer the favorable temperature for the growth of bacteria is about 30 to 37 degrees celsius and the most favorable temperature will come 37 degrees celsius yes. friends again today we discuss questions from microbiology the next video also we can discuss questions from microbiology surely these questions will helpful for your studies if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle